Hello guys, welcome to Datri Solutions. Today I will show you a project called Food Truck System. The concept of Food Truck System is it is a mobile canteen which runs on a truck. There will be a truck in that the some people will prepare food and this truck the particular truck will move from one place to another place and for available for a certain period of time and times as well. So for that you know food uh, truck is a management system where we can find food in a mobile canteen so we don't know where the trucks are available in which time the trucks will be available basically the food in the trucks taste years a lot better so for this concept we have created a website where we can find mobile canteens like this mobile food trucks who, who can serve food in different places so for this purpose we have created this application let's look on to the flow diagram just we have a look for that in this project we have two modules for truck and customer in this project trucks have to register by giving the address the, uh, the truck name everything about the email phone number and the necessary information about them and register after reg successful registrations trucks can log in into the website after logging into the website trucks will add the time which times the truck will be available and serving the food they have to mention this is called add view and after adding the available timings they can see the timings they have added as well after adding the available times trucks will add the food categories or types of types of foods they serve in their trucks will they add after adding the categories they can also view them based on these category types trucks will add the food items into the website these food items they can also view after adding them move on to customer customers also have to register by giving their name email address phone number and basic details such after successful registration, customers can log in. After logging into their accounts, they can view the multiple trucks that are registered in our website. So after viewing them, they can view the food they serve. They can first of all they can view the timings they they available. After that, they can view the food items they serve them. When they see it, they can also enter the quantity and the food they want to order it so they will add the quantity and they can customers can add the food into the cart after viewing the cart they can remove the food item from the cart or they can make the play they can place the order by paying the relevant amount and when pay when placing the order customers need to select uh, which time they want the food to be delivered there is a facility here after placing the order Customers can view the order, they can even cancel it if they want to. Now, the this particular order, when customer placed, will send to the concerned truck and the trucks can view the food orders from the customers. After viewing them, they can make the food order status as preparing if the food is preparing and after preparation, Trucks can change that prepare. After changing the prepare, customers can view the customers can go and collect the food. After collecting the food, they have to change the status as collect food. So after that, after collecting the food, having it, customers can give the reviews and rating to the food items they have received from the food trucks. After all this stuff, trucks can view all the order history they got from the customers and customers as well. They can see all the order history they have made in this website. So let's look at the website. This is our website homepage. As we have discussed, customer trucks, I'm sorry, trucks have to register first. If they have account, they can directly log in. So now some truck name location they have to mention yeah. and email they have to give the address where they are av available
phone number they have to give. Um, they have to give their password. After that, they can click on register, successfully register, so our trucks can log in now. This is trucks homepage, as we are known. First of all, trucks will add the available times. So let's see, uh, let's give the available time from where, when to when, from day to to date, and which time they will be open. So let's see. If it's 3.35 to 6, evening, certain period of time, they'll select in this between our timings. You can see the timings added here. Now, trucks will add the categories. So if it be, um, this is fast food, if they serve at these times. So, you know, you know we have added all these categories. Now, Based on this, they will add food items. We say, yeah, obviously, it will be food choice, breakfast, food price, how much price they are collecting for charging for the food item, and description. You can say, it. and then picture. They have to upload the picture as well. Now food added, you can see the food items here. You know, these are the food items. This truck added. Now let's move on to customers because they have to place the order. So first of all, customers also have to register. If they have account, they can uh, they can log in directly. So let's log in. Email, phone number, and password. Let's see. Let's register. Duplicate email address and phone number is not allowed. If there is any already customer is already exists with the same email and phone number, the system will or will reply is send message that already a uh, customer is exit with this particular phone number or email id yeah if there is no such details are available and that already exists so the registration will be successful so let's log in password you know yeah you know first of all they will view the trucks these are the trucks available you know, tipsy foods and spicy food they can view their food items these are the food items here tipsy foods now let's look we will order so for present everything is okay now their timings you can see their timings it is from 12 35 pm to 15 35 it's about the lunch time i guess and you can see here as well if the food they serve breakfast and the timings they are available you can see here now after viewing the foods they can enter quantity okay it will add to the card you can see this is the time now if customers want to order it if they want to remove it they can click on remove it it will get removed yeah we can see it if they want to order it, they have to select which time they want to pick pick up the order. So you know, let's let's see. Oh no! We food. Ah, one second. We trucks. We food. They have to enter the quantity. We card. Yeah. You can see if they will, they can place the order now. Which time they want it, they can select it order now. You know, if the time we have selected is relevant in between the from time to time that trucks 
already mentioned when they add the timings in those timings only we can place the order the system will take us to the payment page otherwise let's see once yeah, let's see the truck timings once yeah, try me timings is 1535 so in this time period only we can select we can order the food and we can even pick it up otherwise let's see what would happen if we do it's a food item right we'll make it food add, add to cart this is present the items in the cart is these two let's see what if what happened if we place an order let's you can place order between in this state these timings only because the truck has added the timings between 12 35 to 3 35 pm only we cannot so we cannot place orders after these timings you I, I guess you understand the logic now this is the timings that available 3 to evening 6 that time so we can place order now in this particular order so we will get to the page of payment here the amount will be displayed so customers have to give the card details 16 digits of card details name on card CVV and expire date order order placed we can see the placed orders here in this place now let's log in as a drop to see the orders view orders when trucks click on they, this is the order pickup time is 1545 so in this time they have to prepare mark as preparing view prepared preparing orders mark as prepared and now it's good to go this order now let's log in as customer customers click on view orders collect food or food is collected in the history page we can see the order status served everything so customers can give ratings as well if it's okay fine yeah give rating the rating will be added to the trucks you can see the ratings here 5.0 and 4.0 these, these are the re recent ratings this is all about the food truck hope you guys understand and thank you for watching